Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is to answer by popular request. I've posted the link many times but there's a lot of people that don't see it. And I will add a few things that uh, are important to know also. So there are several ways of course to update to Windows 10. One is through Windows Update. But if it fails through Windows Update, there's other ways of updating to Windows 10 and you can actually use this website to do so. But you can also use this website to download Windows 10. Windows 10, compared to other versions of Windows in the past, has that uh, really cool uh, possibility of being easy to download the latest version of Windows. So this is cool for that. So this website, I'll post the link in the description below the video, is where you download Windows 10. Now first, if your Windows 10 update doesn't uh, work or fails in Windows Update, go to this web page and you can try the update now on the page or you can download the media creation tool. The media creation tool is also a way you can actually update your Windows 10 if it fails in Windows Update. But also, this media creation tool is also going to give you the possibility to download Windows 10 and create a DVD or create a USB flash drive that is bootable um, with um, Rufus, for example, which is one of the software that can be used to create a bootable uh, USB thumb drive out of the image. So if you want to download Windows 10, you need to download the media creation tool. That media creation tool will look, that's why it's doing getting things ready. It looks at your version, it looks at what you have, and will give you options that are uh, dependent on what you are using. So here, once you are, uh, you have downloaded and run the tool, you will be asked, uh, of course, to accept the license agreement and so on. And once all of that is done, you will have uh, the options to actually either update or to download the uh, version of Windows 10 for a DVD or flash drive as you want. So you can use this tool to do upgrade now. You can also use this tool to create the installation media. In that case, you'll put that uh, dot here and create a USB flash drive, DVD, or download an image or ISO, or ISO file. When you click Next, it will actually give you the same version you already have. Remember, you cannot change version. If you are downloading a version of Windows for your PC, you have to keep the same type of version or else it won't activate. So you got to keep the same version. And if you are installing or if you need to install it in different PCs, you can remove the check mark and change the language and the edition and the architecture 64 32-bit um, for the installation media. One thing, some people say, well, it doesn't fit on DVD. If you choose both 32 and 64, you will have a bigger image. That one cannot be written to a DVD. So uh, that's how you actually get it, and that's how you download it. So for example, here I use the same version as what's recommended on my PC. Click the Next button. It will ask you what you want to do. You want to do a USB flash drive, or do you want to simply download the image? In this case, this is what I'm going to do. And then you can burn this to a DVD. So here, I'm going to call it Windows 10 um, version 2004 so that I know what version that is. You could save it to whatever folder you want. Click Save and it will start downloading Windows 10 to your PC uh, in a image format that you can use for multiple PCs if you have more than one computer. Could be easier, especially if you want to do clean installs, could be easier to use that image to simply um, you know install on all the PCs. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.